Wow! Ah, good day everyone! And welcome to today's video, and I feel so far away from you all. So as you can see, I have a table full of craft supplies and pumpkins. So today I'm going to be trying a DIY that I saw online, which I thought would be really cool to try, and that's water marbling pumpkins. Ah, I've never water marbled before, but I've done some crazy stuff with pumpkins. I made them emojis, I melted crayons on them, I've done, I feel like, everything you could possibly do. So I have an assortment of polishes, basically the rainbow. So I picked out five white little mini pumpkins. They're so freaking cute. But basically what I read is you have to fill up your bowl with lukewarm water and these feel pretty lukewarm. I guess if it's too cold, the nail polish will just sink. Without further ado, let's get started and let's try water marbling. So I think I'm gonna try just three colors for this one. So I'm gonna stick with some Halloween-ish colors. So we'll do red, orange, and yellow. So I'm just gonna put a couple of drops in of each. Now, you're probably wondering, Joey, why aren't you using Crystal Wolf nail polish? Well, my colors are very glittery, and that's not really the look I'm going for. So, unfortunately, no Crystal Wolf promo today. I have no idea what this is gonna look like. It looks very watered down, so I'm a little nervous, but I'm gonna take uh, like a kebab stick, and I'm gonna, whoa! It's already formed like a layer. I don't know if that, uh oh. What the heck? Is it supposed to do that? Is that what the, oh, maybe that's what the water marbling is. Well, I might have screwed it up. I don't even know if that's what it's supposed to look like, but that's what we have. It's almost like there's a plastic layer on top. So I'm gonna just take this pumpkin and I'm gonna dip it in and we're gonna just like spin it around and see what happens. That actually turned out pretty freaking cool. Wow. I'm just gonna let it dry over here um, for like a couple minutes. I didn't need the new bowls. It literally just stuck to it. Okay, cool. Fun. Okay, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, now let's do these three colors. I'm gonna add more. I want them to be together. So here, I'm gonna get the colors ready um, so they can, cause I really like what happened here with um, this going on. It kinda looks like tie-dye where there's like some, this I don't like so much, but that is good water marbling. And I think it's because the colors were right next to each other. So I have seen some water marbling things where it's like that in the center and then they like pull outward. It's like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I don't know what I'm doing, oh no. Oh gosh. Yeah, um, maybe I should have watched a video on this before I went and, you know, started teaching you guys how to water marble. I can tell it's not gonna be cute. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Okay, I say we just go for it. Let's just see what happens. Here we go, we have our clean little pumpkin. Now let's go in and just spin it around. Whoa, oh my gosh. Okay, the green looks ugly as hell, but the pink and blue looks so freaking pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh, the bottom looks so freaking cool. Guys, this is everything. You know what, I think I am gonna actually do crystal wool. We have our new bowl, now let's try a rainbow. So I'm gonna add a bunch of color this time. So I'm gonna try and get them all in the exact same spot so it can be like a center thing. So there's the, oh gosh, I think I broke it. I don't think that's what it's supposed to be. The red just like dissolves really easily. So we'll do the orange like that. 
that. Oops. And then green inside. That. Let's let it spread a little. This is really cool. Oh, it looks like a little egg yolk. Come on, Green. Freaking spread your little wings and fly away. I'm nervous because the green is not spreading. And so that's leaving the blue to not move either. Come on. All right, I'm gonna try my best to get the pink inside this little teeny blue. Let's take one of these and let's go from the center and pull outwards. Oh, this looks so freaking cool. Uh oh. I feel like I just split it open like a wound. Oh no. Water marble's hard. Holy crap. Let's dip a pumpkin in and let's see what we get. Oh my! I mean, it's interesting. The red and orange look cool, but then when you get into the oh no! Oops. Okay. Well, we're just gonna. Orange and yellow look so good together. I say we try crystal wool stuff. I have no idea what glitter polish will look like. Let's just go crazy. We're trying something weird, guys. Okay. I have no idea what the heck's gonna happen, but it looks like a bunch of like really pretty lines. So let's just dip this beautiful pumpkin in and see what happens. <laughs> literally repelled it. <gasps> oh, I mean, it kind of, it kind of worked. Here, let's, yeah, this is, it's not terrible. It's just not the best as it could have been. It's pretty, okay. You know what? We tried, <laughs> we came, we attempted, oh my God. I say we go back to the basics and let's just do regular polish again. So let's try this again. Let's go intense. We'll put a bunch here. That looks like a freaking jawbreaker. This is cool. So now I'm gonna try and just pull the colors out from the center. Oh my gosh, it looks like a flower. That is beautiful. Holy crap, I need to put this on my damn pumpkin quick. Uh oh, there's like holes growing in it. Okay, let's dunk it in. Were you really expecting it to turn out amazing? Exactly. I hope you guys like this. Um, 
here are what they finally look like. I definitely recommend you guys try this at home because it was so much fun and it was just cool to see like what was gonna happen because I didn't know every time what would happen. So if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see me water marble other things, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Good damn bye.